so-called new manager bounce clearly in full effect. In for Marseille, welcomed relegation threatened Nantes to the Orange Velodrome on Sunday night, surely backing themselves to make it four consecutive big wins in all competitions. Owen complemented their most recent 4-1 and 5-1 league victories over Montpellier and Clermont with a 4-0 Europa League win against Villarreal on Thursday night. Canary, on the other hand, could only dream of flying so high, unable even to get the better of Strugglers' mess during their most recent fixture, losing 2-0 on home soil to drop uncomfortably close to the relegation spots. They did come reasonably close to the opening goal here, Nicola Kotza, though fluffing his lines and scuffing his shot. Nantes came with a clear tactic of placing men behind the ball, which made them difficult to break down, but their game plan unravelled when Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang bundled in at the near post to score for the fifth game running. Ismail Assar waiting patiently, picking his moment to put in a low cross. Aubameyang getting across, defender and keeper, forcing the ball home. That ought to have coaxed the visitors out of their shell a little more, but the best chances still came at the other end. Assar this time looking to finish a move off himself, firing high and wide. Visitors did finally work Paulo Lopez, the Spanish keeper called into action for the first time late in the first half. Good fingertip save from Musa Sissoko's well struck 20 yard effort. It would remain 1 0 through to the break. And perhaps buoyed by that attempt, Jocelyn Gorvenek made a couple of attacking substitutions at the break. After Jordan Veretu had drawn another save from Albon Lafont with a low curling effort started to push. A pair of corners led to at least a couple of chances. Jostling in the middle. And a header which was down into the ground. Comfortable for Lopez in the end. And then a second flicked on. Like it was initially going to drop out. Kept him well. Kept alive by substitute Benny Traore on the right-hand side. Exchanged the passes. Darted into the box. His first touch fell to Moses Simon. Nearly wriggled away from a number of defenders. I'm sure his shot blocked. Those missed chances proved crucial though. Free kick appeal waved away by the referee. And the host would put the game to bed immediately down the other end. Aubameyang again beating the offside trap to reach Jeffrey Kondogbia's crossfield ball. And after having his initial effort saved, squeezing the rebound in at the near post. An astonishing record in recent weeks for the Gabonese. That's eight goals in his last five in all competitions. Now 21 goals and eight assists in all competitions this season. That knocked the win out of the visitors who would mount no further comeback and now fall into the bottom three. Whereas it's now five wins from five for Jean-Louis Gasset since taking the reins of Les Olympiens.